I built this for nothing. This is our family. You and me, kid. That looks like my weekend. That's a snippet from the new movie, The Bike Riders, directed by Jeff Nichols. The crime drama is about a 1960s motorcycle club in McCook, Illinois. It stars Austin Butler and Tom Hardy as members of a club which evolves from a gathering place for local outcasts to a violent organized crime syndicate. The Bike Riders opens in theaters today. And joining us now in studio, CBC Entertainment reporter Jackson Weaver is here with his review. So, what kind of ride are we in for? Sounds like you know this new movie. <laughs> no, it's this, an autobiography, clearly. <laughs> I am absolutely sure. But what this movie, the way that I kind of described it in the review I wrote on our website, it's less wild hogs, more zen in the art of motorcycle maintenance. This is a thinker. This is not, not your grandma's motorcycle movie, uh, let's say. So this is um, about the 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 motorcycle group slash gang, the Vandals, you see Austin Butler there, he plays Benny, one of our three main characters. He is doing his best James Dean, Rebel Without a Cause, on a motorcycle impression that you could possibly imagine. And he, as I said, is one of our main characters. As we go on this very slow, enigmatic sort of journey that we get these chases here, but it's also the study of masculinity with Benny, Austin Butler there at the core. We also see there that's the character Kathy, played by Jodie Comer, who kind of falls for this guy, which maybe understandably so. Yeah, I mean, who isn't falling for this guy? <laughs> we just get a couple glimpses here. We're already doing it. Um, and then also outside of that, we get another character. We get Tom Hardy playing the president of this biker club. And together, they sh they they make this triptych, I'll say, of characters that really showcase the late 60s, the early 70s era that, that we're talking about. But I keep saying, this is not really something that's about the car or the motorcycle chases, that's about the violence, which does happen, which is about the greasy long hair, etc. This is a study in what does it mean to be a man? What does masculinity mean? Is it destructive, but also is it kind of alluring? It doesn't look cool on a motorcycle, but that is the vibe of this movie. That's the tone. And instead of explaining it, we have a little clip. I want you to take a watch and you can see some of the ways that it hints around that, some of the ways that it tries to get into that question. Take a watch. What were you thinking back there? What? Right there, when you, you come charging in like that. Nothing, I saw you squaring off with them guys. What do I need to think for? Hey. Hey, you and me, kid. You and me, you crazy. <laughs> you see Tom Hardy there giving his best, you know, Tom Hardy face. Let's yes. call it that. <laughs> but I also wanted to show that because you see motorcycles, you see these guys, you might be expecting the. Uh, Rock'em Sock'em sort of movie, I don't know, but this is something entirely different and it's very much up my alley, I'll say. I'll say that much. Yeah. Okay, I love the, these dimensions you're bringing to the review about mm -hmm. larger conversations. I was mm -hmm. joking, it's not obviously not my autobiography, <laughs> but I did grow up in my early stages riding a motorcycle. Like, oh. Dad always took us everywhere on his motorcycle. Four of us packed on their very Asian experience. Mm -hmm. But this is based on a true story, somewhat. Talk yes. to us about that. Somewhat is a very good way to put it because this is about Real people, Benny really existed, Kathy really existed. Um, they are drawn from a book by the same name by a photographer, Danny Leon, The Bike Riders, which is about 90 pages long. I actually read it in its entirety in a couple hours because about 50 of those pages are just photographs of the freedom that, you, that was espoused in the mid early 60s when this book was actually written. Um, and, and that freedom that comes from, from that life, but also the last 40-ish pages are these transcribed interviews. And it's just Danny Leon, who has a bit part in the movie, played by Mike Feist, who, oh my goodness, if you watch Challengers, you know how great he is. But he's a very small role of this, where he just raised the microphone, got them to speak to him, and almost the entirety of the dialogue in this movie is just lifted straight from that. Now, this is directed, written by Jeff Nichols, who you might know from Take Shelter, another movie that's a little bit esoteric, a little bit out there, or um, Mud with Matthew McConaughey. And they do have this tendency to be 
almost boyhood-esque, that Richard Linklater slow, thinky sort of movie. And he always espouse, he always mixes that in with questions of masculinity. That's absolutely what happens here. And he really built out these stories. Because again, this is just an interview um, that he is able to tell a story out of, largely from the perspective of Kathy, largely from this very, very, very impressive role by Jodie Comer. And I, I don't know how true we can say this story is, but they are real people and they're, they're real experiences and you really get a sense of the characters from that. Okay, I think I know what you're gonna say, but should we go along for the ride with bike riders? <laughs> Oh my goodness, this is another, I, I sometimes have movies that I love so dearly, but also don't want to oversell, because I know it's not, they're not everybody's thing. I do think this is worth watching. This is worth seeing for the way that it, it tells these stories, it shows this iconography of masculinity in a different way than we might expect. I would not recommend it to the crowd that just again wants to see, you know, high octane. We have motorcycles, we do not have high octane here. This is not Bad Boys 5. This is not Bad Boys 5, <laughs> but there, there are, you know, Easy Rider, great film. Um, yeah. But this is not necessarily the same sort of conversation as that. But if you do want to, you know, relax back in your seat a little bit, go for a ride, why not? Okay. Four so out of five stars is what I'm going to give it here. We got a pretty it. great graphic. And yeah, if you have some time this weekend, check it out. You definitely sold me. CBC's <laughs> entertainment reporter Jackson Weaver, vroom vroom Weaver. Oh, that's hard to say. <laughs> Thank you so much.